ഗുഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർനൂൺ ഫേസ് ടു ഫേസിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളുടെ സ്വന്തം ഡയന എന്നോടൊപ്പം ഇന്ന് ഫേസ് ടു ഫേസിലുള്ള ഗെസ്റ്റ് ഇസ് നൺ അതർ ദാൻ മാസ്റ്റർ കൗട്ടില്യ പണ്ഡിത് ദ സൂപ്പർ ടാലൻറ്റഡ് ബോയ് ഫ്രം ഹരിയാന ദ ഗൂഗിൾ ബോയ് വെൽക്കം ടു എൻ ടി വി ഫേസ് ടു ഫേസ് താങ്ക് യു മച്ച് and uh, kautilya let me ask you when you were born the name has been given kautilya and kautilya is a name of chanakya don't you think there is a correlation between your well, name and chanakya the brilliant chanakya well it is not a correlation what i think is because he is a great inspiration okay. and the name is taken by him okay. because i i didn't reach the potential to be compared with such a great personality okay so what is the name because he is a great inspiration for all of us so the name is of course taken by uh, uh, the name is of course taken by he is because due to him only a lot of great things has happened so he is a great inspiration and well yeah for in my name also i would like to thank my uh, father because he gave me my name and uh, cotelia uh, in the on the first single instance when i was born my name was kept cotelia that was very good and they knew that you're going to be a brilliant boy right before well, you were born i don't I, i don't know i'm not sure for that uh, they were pretty <laughs> sure about that i believe well yeah that you, the uh, the bir- answer would be given by them only because it's their perspective and next time we so, we're yeah, going to sure. interview them for sure, sure. and kautilya tell me about your family well um i live in haryana okay so uh, in my family here i my uh, my mama my papa my two sisters and then it my dada ji my dadi ji my chacha ji and uh, there are two chacha ji is my and my chachi okay so it's a big family and a wonderful family right well yeah and whom do you think is the most intelligent in your family well uh, there everybody is intelligent but yeah my personal that's a belief, diplomatic my, answer my personal belief is that my dada ji because yeah he's one of the most loving who i love Okay. and he is uh, one of the most uh, person who is very, i feel very free to uh, and my very he is just like my best friend he is like your best friend They're obviously our dada ji is always you know grandchildren's best 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 friends so kautilya tell me uh, everyone calls you google boy and uh, who actually named google well uh, google uh, if you talk about my name so it was given my by Indian media other than it yeah if you talk about the google i'm asking about the real, yeah, google. real google so the google was given by larry page and surgery brand okay. and they made it and in 2003 only they named it and after it only this the google search engine that came in existence okay and the, before that do you know what the name of google was well uh, i'm not sure about it can't tell it it was backrub thank you they named it backrub but then they changed it because you know they did not feel that it would be suitable for a search engine so um kautilya i'm uh, really curious about your day to day life you know you are an ideal child that any parent would want to have so uh, what is your day uh, i mean how does it start like how does your day start well my day is very normal like uh, it's very normal suppose it starts i take uh, okay. i sleep in near about 9 or 10 okay. and i wake up at 7 or 6 so after doing it after wake up Uh, I go I, I always being ready for the school and after coming for the school it's very normal uh, I play uh, what is very the, normal I'm hearing this normal uh, let me know what the see, normal thing is uh, it's very common as compared because when uh, I like to study when it uh, I study when I like to it okay. because then my field of interest in I wish to and from my heart it goes okay. then the concentration level automatically increases okay. but yeah other than if you talk about normal day to day life it's very normal if compared to other children like of my age of my um my ten rate so it's very common and it's same but for the kids in india and as well in ua i don't think days are being very normal they have been pressurized to do homework they are asked to study till late they are asked to wake up early in the morning and if not uh, getting good marks they've been brutally hit don't you hear about these stories kautilya well see poor thing no see what i think is what my personal belief is they're not brutally hit that's a thing which is be that's just like a myth because it's creating in everybody's mind if a person likes to study there is no problem in it okay but yeah if you talk about it um, suppose they're brutally hit so the thing is that they're not because if they never hit it if you don't they're very exceptions suppose one in a hundred or one in a thousand it's just like that we we get to hear a lot yeah, of other a lot stories of pieces yeah. because 
see if a child has an interest into that specific field mm -hmm. then then what is the problem in it if he doesn't have it then yeah maybe there's some problems which are seen and it is a bit common if the person doesn't like the subject or doesn't like the field then he'll have some problems but if he likes it then there won't be any problem yeah there wouldn't be any problem and uh, life is very uh, simple right well yeah it's very frequent if you make it because it is dependent on you whether you make the life frequent or whether you make your life indulged and very uh, and very different from it so if you want to make your life a bit common a bit normal that you want okay so you have to be adjustable for the things that because the whole because there are two types of things okay. maybe you are adjusted with the life uh, with the life or you or you adjust the life by yourself okay and, that's cool and if one. you want uh, yeah that's cool one so if you want to take that cool one then you have to be, uh, then you have to do what you want and if you get an excellence then of course you will make your life as you want and if you'll not study at the time if you want if you'll not and if you'll not go out of your comfort zone then you will be as life but if you want to be out of life and you want to be make life as you then you have to go out of your comfort zone and do something very very extraordinary and uh, like what you said you know you have to do something that you love to do right well, see do what you love love what you do so the thing is that if you love your field of interest because do the thing which you like do the thing which is your field of interest if you do it then yeah things will happen it like this okay kautilya tell me about your friends Well, yeah, I have very friends. I have a lot of bunches of friends. And for example, who's your best friend? Well, uh, my best friend, what I said is in my family, it's Taji. Other than it, yeah, in my school also there are a lot of good friends. Yeah, I never compare them because yeah, it's again it's a diplomatic answer. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, the but, diplomatic. Uh, but yeah, everybody is good because uh, the friends. What is friends? Maybe today they're not. But yeah, a very uh, common and frequent friend is that. who answers it and who is always against you uh, or who is who thinks for you and yeah there are a lot of friends like this okay kautilya now coming back you've attended lot of interviews almost all the channels almost all the radios have had your interview right yeah and which is the most frequently asked question well um, um well uh, the f most frequently asked question as well i think is that uh, that um, one of the most is that before before i was born whether what my mother ate and these kind of what to eat yeah personal questions only so there are a lot of personal questions okay. that is asked that how did you find it that you uh that your uh, intelligence so these kind of questions yeah and they test common. you like you know how many planets are there how many moons are well, there yeah, that's very easy. how that's, many that's kilo for kilograms kid. organs that's, are there that's that's for a tender kid for a guy of two uh, of 8 or 7 years old yeah also. definitely yeah yeah you're too small right but then you're very intelligent and kautilya coming back uh, to your family uh, tell me what is the uh, best moments that you've shared with your mom Well, there are a lot of moments. For example, when uh, my personally, my best moments is when I met Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam sir, okay. and these kind of great moments, uh, meeting great people, and indeed coming here also is a great moment for me and uh, interacting with you and uh, being a part of uh, this channel and um, interacting a lot of Indians, uh, a lot of NRIs in UAE, a lot of uh, people from Kerala. So this indeed is a great moment for me. Okay, thank you so much. And Kautilya, uh, uh, given a chance to change India, what change would you be bringing about? Well, that is a very, very great question. If you're growing and, up, yeah, yeah. And if you're in a position to do it, if I have the power to do it, because the first thing is that if you have the power to do it, then of course my first priority would be to uh, make India as per it and to be and to get, uh, make it in an extreme level, and that is an average. And everybody wants to wants to do it, and every government. Okay. So that's the main aim. Yeah. Of course, I'll try it. And uh, well, the main answer it it would be if I'll become, then I'll do a better one because because these kind of questions they are done as the stage as things that are happening there. All uh, I would take can't I will take India as and I'll make it as. The, as uh, the people of India wanted, and a great, great educational, a great entrepreneur, and a great hub for everything that can happen in a nation. Okay, what is that one thing in India that you love the most? Well, there is not only one thing. There are thousands of things. There are thousands country. of things, but then I don't want any diplomatic <laughs> answer, so I want just one answer. The best thing in India. Well, uh, so the culture, 
the glories and also I love uh, the culture. Family. I would take that answer. Yeah, okay. sure. It's a cool one and uh, Kautilya. Now coming back to and serious AI, questions. Yeah, yeah. And other than it, uh, well, uh, till now there were serious questions only. Uh, you uh, want yeah. uh, simple questions? But, oh, it's your choice. But yeah, the most thing that I love for a country is the people of a country. And they're, of course, the best, whether going in any country, suppose in UAE, they're getting giving me the same love. So the people of our nation, the people of our India, they are the best, if I compare, because uh, for me, they're the best in the whole world. And uh, every kind of thing that they have is the number one. Oh, wow. And yes, uh, India is the best, right? And we have got a second home here in the UAE, so you know, we would say India and UAE are the best. Yeah. So Kautilya, now tell me, what are your favorite colors? Well, my favorite color is, there are a lot of, for example, I love green and I also love uh, orange, mm -hmm. like this. Okay, now um, you in, want to become uh, an astrophysicist? India, uh, so my favorites are green and saffron. Green and saffron, like the Indian flag, right? Yeah, green and, and saffron. And how about blue? Well, yeah. Blue, I like blue also. Okay, because that's there in the chakra. Yeah. So, uh, Kautilya, uh, you, your current ambition right now is to become an astrophysicist, right? Yeah. Why an astrophysicist? Well, I want to be an astrophysicist because, uh, because I want to go at the speed of, uh, I would like to do new things in this field of space because it is a bit uncovered. And in this field, which is a bit uncovered, I would like to do a lot of new and encouraging things and if I do that it would be very good for our country and something new something which is new I'll, ca I'll make it and uh, a new theory which uh, it's my aim to give a new theory and a new different type of uh, you can say technology to the field of space to the field of research to the whole humanity and uh, do you think there's going to be life in Mars anytime soon well, uh, yeah, there can be, other than not only Mars, you can see other planets and we can also create it. So artificially, it is said that near about 10 lakh years ago, near about oh, 1 million years ago, that it can happen. Yeah, there was water content, right? That yeah. uh, quantifies it. Uh, Kautilya, currently we come to hear from various sources, from various uh, people as well from Google, that death is only a sickness and people can live up to 350 to 1000 Yes. What do you think about that? Well, see, we don't have such scenario. If we talk about any place like Switzerland or any heaven, we don't have such scenario and it is changing. Because see, at the time of apes or homo sapiens, the life was longer because of a lot of new things. Our mind was a bit sharper because of things that because the nature was at the time, it was not, it was very uncovered and no one has touched it that much. If the nature is touched a lot of times, then of course, yeah, uh, artificial intelligence and also new technologies are also coming with an increase in human life. Yeah, so you think that it's not possible? Well, see, it is possible and maybe uh, our today's technology doesn't permit it. But yeah, if suppose our nature, we live in uh, truly a, a lap of mother nature. See, if you talk about a phone, phone is a lot of radiation that also decreases the life of a Expectancy, human. So yes. these kind of things, are, there are a lot of things like that which decrease the life of human. So if these all kind of things are removed, then of course a change would be there. Yeah, but then Google is saying that there is living examples of that. Well, yeah, there are a lot of, suppose if you talk about Vedas mm -hmm. and uh, Vedas in, in uh, Hinduism, there are a lot of great, um, uh, in ev every religion it is. So there's something um, in mites, also if you take it as a mite, but yeah, there is very scientific. In every religion, there's one thing said, is that regarding the field, regarding the field which is a bit uncovered, if you take about the mother nature, so if uh, the things are stated in the mother nature, in the uh, in the limit of it, then of course, if you don't touch it, then if we, if we don't change it, then of course, the um, thing will happen. And it is truly said, and it is, always in uh, Indian belief system and in every belief system it is said that man can uh, live in a different in, in a much much longer year in a much much longer age than if uh, it is living in now stage 
Yes, which is the, uh, thank you so much for that answer, which is the smallest city in the world? Well, uh, the Can smallest city, the country, smallest uh, country is no, Vatican no. City. Once again. So, yeah, see, the Vatican City is the smallest country mm -hmm. and it is also the smallest city if you talk about, because its capital is the Holy See and its area is just like eight, it is, uh, eight, it is um, uh, less than a kilometer, it is one third, uh, it is one third of it, if you talk about it, becomes near about, uh, uh, near about 678 meters. So it is the area yeah, of uh, UA, of uh, Vatican City. Yeah, and um, I hope you know that uh, Pope from Vatican had come to UA. Yeah. Very yeah, past, recently, uh, yes. Past days. So yes. well, yeah, that was a very great moment for the people of UA, other for the government because yeah. uh, po uh, Pope, uh, because Christianity is one of the biggest religions in a, it is the biggest religion in the whole world. And I would say humanity is the biggest religion. Well, yeah, of course, but yeah, Pope, uh, uh, Pope indeed is a great person because he is controlling a great a segment of the world and these kind of people whether it is the uh, topper of any religion he indeed is a great person whether it's any religion so he is he's a different kind of him a thought he's everything is different as compared we can't imagine it well yeah such a big it was great um, uh, um, millions of people were there thousands of people were there so it was a great moment to see it yeah so Kautilya which school are you studying in well, I'm studying in GD Goenka World School. Okay, and what is special about that school? Well, uh, every sp school is special. Uh -huh. Maybe because schools are as per you want. If you decrease the, if you, uh, well, what I think is my personal belief is that my school is very good. But a school is dependent on the, st on the student. If the student takes it, if the student is as per it, then of course, the, it would be very good for you. But yeah, if you don't take it, then it won't be such good. Yes. And uh, um, yeah, next uh, I would like to ask you, if at all uh, there is a vehicle to go to space, not what is existing currently, uh, as per your imagination, will there be a specific vehicle that is imaginary vehicle that will be suitable well, for space travel? Well, there will not only be there one, there would be millions of it because always new inventions and new things would be there. So after suppose 100 years there would be new vehicle. After 200 years there would I wouldn't be there, there after be, 100 years. Well me too. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, I, I, I would wish to from, live such long. No, from wish. your mind I want to know like you know you've got a wonderful imagination. You've got a very good uh, like you know knowledge and uh, in-depth scientific uh, support. So that's why I'm asking is there any specific shape a vehicle would be suitable for a space travel well what i think is what my image uh, what i think what uh, during science is that there must be anything suppose if you talk about now there is hyperloops and all yeah. but there can be anything which can goes with the light so okay. there can be a vehicle which is traveling through light through the photons carrying on photons okay. and if it happens it's very fast and a very good means of travel into the space definitely and, yeah but we don't have still technology like that uh, definitely you can give it a try yeah, of course, and if I get such a chance because it needs a lot of great technology and a lot of budget. So if I get it in the near future, we may have it. And do you have any uh, plans or proposals <coughs> to replace aeroplanes with something else? Well, I don't have proposals still now, but yeah, I'll try it. There can be because uh, it's a great project and if it happens, it would be very good and very different as compared to our life. Maybe it would be same and different because it is as per our thinking. If we do it, if it would be very convenient to us, then it would be very uh, good. But if it won't be, then of course it won't be such good. Kautile, there had been a lot of air accidents in the past. And uh, you know, whenever somebody is climbing on an aeroplane, naturally there is a fear. No, oh God, may the flight land safely. No, well, yeah. I do that. Uh, uh, honestly I speaking, I do because, that. Because yes, uh, some people have. Uh, uh, if you go Air on Burj Khalifa, then also there. Yeah. So that is dependent on person to person. No yeah? problem. There but is a fear. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Air travel is one of the safest yeah. way if compared to yes. road or train. So there, it is much safer. Yeah. yeah but Th still. But there are a lot of still. examples wherein there have been a massive air accidents, including the uh, Malaysian aircraft that has just you know vanished into yeah. thin air. So uh, my question is, it's that not about Malaysian aircraft. It's about air accidents. So do you have any um, suggestions or any ideas? that can avoid air accidents? Well, um, I have to like think about it, yeah, but <laughs> so still what I think is the things that are happening, it maybe we should include the power of speed and we have to do an 
इंटरफेस बिकॉज सपोज अ नॉर्मल एयरप्लेन नॉट आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग बट जेट बिकॉज जेट इज़ वेरी फास्ट एंड इट कैन बी टेकन एज यू वॉन्ट बिकॉज अ कमर्शियल एयरोप्लेन विच इज़ वेरी बिग सो इट डिजेंट हैव सच टेल्ट सो दिस टेक्नोलॉजी सो द एंगल इफ इट इज स्टडीड इन कैलकुलस इफ टू चेंज द एंगल सो दैट कैन हैपन सो इफ इट हैपन दैन ऑटोमेटिकली दिस thing is mainly due to I mean, suppose if we talk about in air convenience in air pressure so yeah. maintaining it it can be done if you if you take if you take the uh, if the air uh, pressure is truly and truly decreased at that time only and it is truly and truly taken by the uh, pressure of uh, by the pressure of engines because it can be created no, but, but there it, are a lot it, of yeah, air pockets yeah, in it, the it, sky but so it, where, but where it there would is be, but it would be very very dangerous it would not uh, but if it, uh, it won't be dangerous it would be very expensive if you uh, take the pressure clear. by fuel yeah. uh, not by air but it would be very very safer yeah but uh, will that cover up this air pocket issues you know even if the flight is taking off uh, on a comfortable um, you know on the calculated speed and all, uh, all the calculations are perfect still there are air pockets in the cl- uh, sky so that is where the accidents happen well if you talk about suppose bermuda triangle in the gravity so there are a lot of exceptions uh, yeah. in every where there are is exceptions okay so maybe you will come up with something in the near future right so kautilya which would be that one instrument that you are planning to invent well um that's great but yeah, what i'm still planning to invent it is regarding so uh, I, i i like to move i would like to move, uh, make anything which moves with the speed of light so yeah it is said by albert einstein said that anything can't move with the speed of light and the mass would become zero mm-hmm. but yeah, what i think is ma- the mass would become infinite but what i think is there can be something which can move still with the speed of light so i would like to make a vehicle which moves with the speed uh, speed of light and it would take and it wouldn't take any kind of force just a powerful beam of light but photons will i mean uh, there can be massive accidents right no there can't be because what i think is the, the because a beam if there is a one beam like that there would be another beam like it and it can't cross it because the photons are always traveling in a specific path so how can there be accidents like that okay that's an intelligent thought and uh, really i wish you good luck for that and uh, kautilya now coming back to normal human beings and normal oh, situations like, you know, <laughs> we are ob- i mean i am obviously normal and i am talking to a super natural so like super that. brilliant kid no, right well, now well everybody is brilliant everybody is special so it is just maybe you you are very good anchor and in this field you are much much better than me and so everybody is specifically good in a particular field i, I really admire your humility i really do and uh, kautilya coming back to normal scenario normal situation we hear a lot of uh, child abuse cases do you hear about them Well, yeah, of course, the, it and, is. And uh, do you have any uh, ideas or suggestions that can, um, like you know, that can stop this child abuse? Well, yeah, it is a very, uh, uh, very, um, yeah, it is a very topic. Uh, it is a very, um, you can say it's a very, a very topic of nowadays, and it is, uh, and it has taken a great attention of a lot of people because child abuse, of course, it's very bad. But yeah, what is because. Uh, uh, on a small thing only they're making it a such a bigger issue uh, if you talk about any person who does a child abuse uh, so that so it is totally negligible and it can't be and there should be no place for it uh, for the society and it should be decreased well, it, should there, it. it should it's, not be uh, there it should not be there i don't know much society. about it but uh, uh, what i think my personal perspective is and anybody everybody would say that that there shouldn't be any place for such kind of things and it should be totally and truly truly decreased Yes, it should definitely go down, and then yeah, let's find ways for that yeah. somehow. Yes, Kautilya. So, what do you want to communicate with NTV viewers? Well, uh, for these, uh, for because most of the NTV viewers are from India, and one thing I would like to say about them also, and uh, my wish to you and other things also for my tender age group, uh, my friends, my new friends. So the thing is that you can do a lot of great thing and choose your passion, choose the right career. and if you do that then automatically the things that you want will happen if you choose a focused goal then your uh, half of your difficulties is automatically uh, is automatically cured and you easily do it thank you so much kautilya it was wonderful having you in ntv thank you very much thank you so much wishing you all the best and wishing you a great future a great successful future ahead and may all your like you know all your thoughts come into action like you know all these dreams all the passion that you showing may all that happen and um let the society enjoy it
Yeah, sure. So, in the face to face, Ivda Purnavana, this is your Diana signing off with the Google boy Kautilya Pandit from NTV UA's number one Indian television channel. Janangal Kopam, Varta Kopam, Nanmayodapam. NTV UA to the world.